Don right here, welcome back. And today, we're gonna to talk about this guy, Mr. Jin, D. Jin, Genie. Now, this guy's uh, pretty special to me. I decided to make the first video about him um, for several reasons. Uh, number one, he's the first card that I bought uh, when I started putting this set together again. And, and I say again, because I, I actually had a Arabian Night set way back in the 90s, including a play set of this fella. Um, some unlimited power and some other things that I basically let go for next to nothing. I don't like this story. When I got out of the game around the Urza saga. Um, so, yeah, I decided to get him first. And once I got him, it inspired me to start building the set again. So that's how we ended up here. Um, number two, he's my favorite card in the set. Um... He's the second most expensive card, but still my favorite. He's the big bad creature. Everybody knows the the artwork. Everybody loves him. Um, I am, as previously stated, the uh, quintessential Timmy of the old school, which by definition is just a you know a, a guy who enjoys the social aspect, the big bad creatures, and the flashy spells. And I was doing it just for fun. I I really didn't win a lot, and I didn't care just enjoyed playing the game and, and having these cards and um, having a good time with my friends. So, um, yeah, number three, um, the artwork is one of my favorites um, of any. Um, so much so, I, I have a, uh, an artist proof signed by Mark Tedden, the, uh, the artist there, Mark. Um, you know, I'm sure you guys have heard the name before. He's done pretty pretty uh a, a lot of the um iconic artworks of the old school magic days also i have a jazam tattoo that kind of it's kind of hard to see but it's higher up on my arm same artwork um i just love it um some might call me crazy dude this guy is freaking daffy um and uh yeah so i wanted to start with him so let's go ahead and break mr j out of jail here <laughs> By the way, I, I really like these um, screw top holders. I know some people don't. Um, I, I had the magnet ones for a while, and those are pretty cool too, I guess, but um, I don't know. They just felt like uh, they were unreliable, like they would just fly off if they got bumped or something. That's probably not the case. I'm not a scientist. That means a scientist. But um, I just feel like these are more reliable. So um, we'll go ahead and uh, I, I got a uh, inner sleeve here. So we'll take them out of there. All right. We'll do a couple of uh, a couple of quick naked eye tests. Um, I did try to stick to um, light player better. Realistically, I probably got more you know quote unquote played than light played, but um, reasonably good condition. Um, again, nothing minty or anything like that. You can see in the corner there. I think that's common when there's that little flip on the corner. I've seen a lot of that on some, some cards. Uh, let's see if I can catch light there. A little bend there, maybe a crease in, in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, that corner's looking good. And you guys can tell from the reflection, it's got that matte look. Um, old cards that uh or old counterfeits i should say are very commonly like very glossy very glary um, and you can see that there's that matte finish um, let's take a look at the edges here to see if there's any signs of inking looks pretty good oh, sorry let's see if we can focus Clean white line all the way, which I like. Nothing apparent. So, right off the bat, I mean, the, the major issue I have is this, this little crease here. You can see it's like a, like a vertical crease along the, uh, the edge there. I'm not sure what that's about. A little nick and ding up here. So, inking, glare test look good. Let's grab my light here. Um, I'd like to put him back in the inner sleeve. Okay. 
the inner sleeve is not going to interfere with the, the white test here. Now when you do this test, you can see see the blue Magic the Gathering logo. I'm holding them from the front, but you can see the logo clearly from the back. A lot of counterfeits and frauds. Um, now this light is extremely bright, but uh, many counterfeits and frauds are, are not gonna show the back through the front this cleanly. You can see the Deck Master logo on the bottom there, the ring. Magic the Gathering logo on the back. So the light test is good. And we'll pull out the scale. What am I doing here? Work with me. Okay, this thing is pretty sensitive. I picked it up off of uh, Amazon. I don't remember how much I paid, maybe like 10 bucks, something like that. But it's pretty sensitive. Let's make sure it's on the right mode. Uh, let's see, that's grams. Uh, CT, ounces, it's too heavy. I can't even see this. I'm an old man, guys. DW, grams. All right, we'll stick with grams. It's a pretty uh, light unit of measurement. One point seven zero grams. I want to say that's a good sign. I weighed these uh, months back, and I, I compared all the cards, the expensive ones versus the um, the cheaper ones. Um, Desert's a good go by. You you want to stick to cards from the set you're looking at when you weigh these things. And again, I'm not particularly concerned about rebacking or anything with a card like this, but um, a counterfeit from a different stock, um, that's obviously not Wizards of the Coast or um, or anything like that, is, is gonna have variations in, in the weight. And for those who don't know how the, the rarities work from Arabian Nights, um, there are no rare cards technically. There's uncommons and there's commons. They were printed on sheets of 11 by 11. There was a common sheet and there was an uncommon sheet. There were 121 cards in each seat, sheet, excuse me. Um, and 11, common 11 means that of those 121 cards on the common sheet, 11 of those are deserts. Um, for Jazam, uh, he's an uncommon too. So of the 121 cards on the uncommon sheet, there were two Jazams. Um, Bazaar of Baghdad, the most expensive card in the set, is, a, is an uncommon three. So there were three of those on the sheet, but yeah, there's no rare cards in the set. The, the rarest cards are the uncommon twos, which is Jazam. And then second is the uncommon three. So realistically, there are 50% more bazaars printed, maybe not out there. I mean, who knows what's out there anymore um, than Jazam. So he's rarer as far as how many times he's been printed. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this guy under magnification and, uh, and see what we got there. There's a face. Look at that mug. Thank you, Mark Tedden. You're a national treasure. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. So right off the bat, this guy's uh, looking pretty good. You can see the rosettes patterns on the teeth. The black is very distinct because the black layer goes on last after all the colors are printed. And uh, an authentic Jazam's uh, facial rosettes are, are going to look like that. The, uh, the singular white dots among the, the greening, um, if that's even a word, uh, the black. Um, I've seen images of fakes where the rosettes are just way too circular and obvious and just printed all goofy. So, from the looks of things so far, this guy is real. Um, there we go. Th that, those are what circular rosettes are going to look like only. We only got a couple of colors working there. Um, some very goofy rosettes on fakes are going to look even, even worse. Um, than that, but that's just the printing pattern. So let's look at the mana symbols And you got some colors in the rosettes there as you can see the the red the blue and 
dark mana symbol. All the uh, uncommons in Arabian Nights were printed with the dark mana symbol. It's only the commons that have the light mana variants, um, and only some of them. Let's look at our corners. Yeesh. Yeah, that's not ideal. But again, I knew I wasn't getting anything minty, <clears throat> pack fresh, or anything like that. Um, it wasn't my goal. I just wanted to recreate a set of reasonably good cards. Nothing had particularly damaged or inked or, you know, moderately played or worse. That corner looks a little better. This is the corner with that goofy crease in it. You can't really see it when it's back in the holder like that. So I would imagine when I get it graded, um, you won't be able to really see it either, although I'm sure that'll factor into the grade. These companies have all kinds of weird machines and infrared light. To look at these cards, uh, access to things that I just don't have. Um, real clean bottom edge and a decent, uh, decent corner there on the lower uh, left side. We'll flip around, now we're upside down. There we go. Some chips, some dings, some playware, but not heavy play. I mean, again, I'm I'm not a professional, but I think uh, I don't think I got screwed when I I, th I want to say this listing for this guy um, said excellent condition or light play. Um, it was an eBay listing when I picked him up um, in 2019. Some chips there. This all looks like normal playware to me. And back to that crap corner. Let's look at our mana symbol. Oh, I'm sorry, expansion symbol. Okay. So the expansion symbol is one of a couple of decent ways to authenticate or self-authenticate your cards. Um, you see in the scimitar there, the, the dots are just black. Black on white, that's it. Um, the, the black ink around the hilt uh, is very clean again because the black layer goes on last so if if you have a, a Expansion symbol that looks goofy or has other colors in it uh, You may want to think twice about whether it's real the, the authentic ones are going to look just like this with a nice clean uh, Black dots in the scimitar there. So let's flip her over and Look at the green dot uh, this particular dot is another one of the good ways to self-authenticate. Um, and you can see, let's see if I can focus a little better. In that yellow part of the green dot, you got four red dots. Pretty good focus, so I'll zoom in even more. There we are. In the shape of an L, those four red dots are an excellent way to authenticate your cards, or at least feel confident that, that what you have is legitimate. Um, that's really difficult to duplicate. Um, it, this is just how the, they were printed back then. I wanna say even the new Magic cards don't have it looking quite like that. Um, but for Arabian Nights cards and, and Four Horsemen sets, early sets of Magic, um, that's a really good indicator if you got those red dots in there and, and sometimes it's not always in the shape of an L there might be an extra one thrown in there um, I want to say my Shaharazad has kind of a goofy um, red dot um, pattern but again it's as long as it's clean most of the time it's going to be in the shape of an L you can see the black around it looks crisp obviously thrown on top afterwards along with those other rosettes I mean that's a that's a fantastic um, indicator. So I do think this guy is real. As far as a grade goes, um, man, if I could get above a five or a six, I'd be happy. Um, and some people might think I'm crazy to get something like this authenticated or, uh, excuse me, graded at all. Um, but it's it's not for resale. I, I know most collectors, if, if it's in this sort of condition, are going to want it raw. But uh, it's, it's for me. I plan on keeping these. I want to preserve them, lock them in, uh, into the slab there and uh, you know when the time comes if somebody wants to cut them out of there that's their business but um, I don't mind I honestly don't let's see if there's anything else we can spot on the back here you can see the uh, the ring around uh, 
around the center there is kind of a purpley, bluish purple. And again, it's clean deck masters, got those rosettes there. Let's throw them on the front again. Look at the words on the text box. And if you have a Jazam and you're looking to compare it because you have concerns of your own that yours might look goofy, and if anything, I've given you some examples of what mine looks like, for better or worse. And uh, I've got some fuzz or something in there locked in now. I always liked the way these bubbles looked under the magnification too, the bubbles on the black cards. I love these old cards. They don't make them like they used to. Had to get all modern with it. Let's look at the, the Dijin. The Jin. And the way I'm, I've got this propped up, I can't slide it over so we can see the Jazan unless I turn it upside down, so. There we go. You got some uh, colored rosettes in the white that you normally wouldn't notice with the naked eye. Some in Dijin. Jin. So, I like it. It's looking good to me, guys. And there you have it. Decided to grab my artist proof off the wall to, to show that to you, too. Um, I think she's real. He's real. And uh, I want to say uh, if I could get a five or better, I'd be pleased. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments on my video or, or would like to see more of these on other cards, feel free to, to drop me a comment, positive or negative. Just tell me what's wrong What the freaking show. <laughs> and uh, I hope to see you guys again real soon. Thank you.